Hello folks, Logger John here. I just got home from work and uh, it was a beautiful day today. Sunny, not too hot. And I'm out at the shed here. I just took my new walk behind trimmer out. I gotta think of a name for it. I'm gonna come up with a name for this machine. I'm not really sure what name I'm going to come up with, but uh, maybe you guys can come up with a name. But anyways, and I might put some down there, maybe I can mount some eyeballs, some eyes, like Logan. Logan from Fabbed Fun, he has a great channel, it's called Fabbed Fun. I believe Logan is, uh, I believe he's in uh, Indiana, is that right? Indiana? I hope I'm right. I thought he was in Michigan, but I think he's in Indiana. And he has a great channel, he's always building uh, building stuff. He just built a grapple for his uh, Massey tractor. He's got a super duper Massey tractor, which I really, really like. And he's clearing up some land right now, and it's a great channel to watch. He's always, uh, he's a great... Pretty, he's really good at uh, building stuff, fabricating stuff, welding stuff. But uh, he's got a couple eyeballs on his new grapple there. And uh, anyways, I thought I would mount a couple eyeballs there, but if I can find some. Anyways, I'm going to try this bad boy out tonight. I don't know why we call, I don't know why I'm calling it bad boy. It could be a bad girl. I don't know, bad boy sounds better. Bad girl, bad boy, I don't really know. But I'm uh, going to try it out. If you come with me here, I got some, a couple rough spots down along the driveway, both sides of the driveway. There's kind of some tall grass growing up there, and there's some, um, I believe it's mustard weed coming up. I want to mow down. I have a quite a bit of mustard weed around this year. I don't know where it came from. It's spreading everywhere, so, so I'm going to fire this up. I just checked the oil in it. It's good to go. Topped up with gas. And I got my safety. Well, I got my safety boots on. My coveralls. My gloves. I got my hearing protection with the shield. I'm just going to use my old chainsaw helmet, which I normally use anyway to weed eat. But Okay, guys. Stay tuned as I fire this bad boy. Bad girl. Whatever. I mean, like I said, I'm going to come up with a name. Or you guys are going to come up with a name for it. See how she goes. So stay tuned. I'm just going to walk this machine down to the grass here. I wish I had my own personal camera person, which I don't. It would make it easier. This is what I want to mow down. It's not very thick right now. There's my lawn there. It's kind of rough in here, so I'm going to try it out. So stay tuned.
Well, folks, she's working. Nice and dirty now. <laughs> so far, so good. I'm going to finish this area. And I think it's going to be supper time. And then I have the other side to do. And then I'll, uh, once I do that, I'm going to... Uh, tell you what I think so far. So far so good I think but we'll see. Uh, it's running good. Okay guys stay tuned. Okay, I'm just looking at the line here. You can see it's chewed up a bit. It's not very heavy line. I got heavier line in my shed that I used on my old machine. I'm gonna try using it. This stuff seems to, this is just, of course, they wouldn't send the best line in the world on the machine. This came with the machine and they sent a bag a bag of them. I don't know what gauge that is, but definitely the, the the line that I bought for my old machine is definitely heavier. Yeah, hate to see it so dirty, but it's a working machine. Okay guys, I got a little more cutting to do. Okay guys, 
finished up this little area. It's really rough in here. I don't know if you could see it, but there's roots and pretty rough. Now normally I do this a couple times every summer, this whole area, but let it grow a little bit more. But I do want to do that. There's about eight or nine, maybe ten strips. You can see the mustard weed right there. So I'm going to do that after supper. The only complaint I'd have about this so far is the twine or the line that, they, that it came with. Seems to be pretty light duty. Seems to chew up really easy. I mean all I was mowing is weeds and grass. But I do have better line like I said that I will try. Okay guys. I'm back here. Well supper's over so I'm gonna try to set you guys up. I'm gonna mow down this little rough area here. Like it doesn't look rough until you start getting in there and it's pretty rough so too rough for a riding mower. Let's see if I can get you guys set up in a decent spot here so you're not facing the sun. <laughs> Trying to find a good spot right here I guess. Maybe I'm gonna back up a little bit. I'm just gonna back up here. Okay, try that. Okay guys, I'm almost finished this area. I got finished up the end down there a little bit and maybe this little area right here. Just going to have a break for a sec. So, so far so good. The line, like I said, is getting wore out. You can tell just the way it's cutting. Um, not really impressed with the line <laughs> the line that they sent I wasn't really expecting the top quality line with it but not sure right now if I really like the handle situation compared to my old one there's not a lot of this well there's no adjustment there's no uh, you only have one set height with the handles here so I guess one height one setting fits everybody, I guess, is what they're figuring. I just find it a little bit awkward. I'm not used to it. I'm used to my other machine. I wish I had my other machine here to show you. The handles are a little bit different on it. Okay, like, try to ride your hands on the side here. It was okay, and then on top, it's just, just doesn't feel 100%. When you're pushing it but other than that 
I mean, I just I guess I'm just not used to them. It's definitely, uh, I think, a bit wider than my old machine, so it's more stable. So I think once I get the new, the better line on it, well, I'll probably just up, end up using the line that they sent me just to use it. I don't know how many's in the bag. Maybe a half a dozen or so. Use that up and then put the new stuff on. Yeah, doesn't take long to get dirty. <laughs> but you can see it does a good job. It'd be doing a really, really good job if it had better line on it. <laughs> I'll show you someday uh, my line that I have in my shed that I bought last year, and the new line, the line that they sent, is quite a bit of difference. Thick line like this, like this is pretty. Like I said, I'm not sure what gauge that is, but. Uh, It's just round. I think the stuff I have in my shed is more like square or like a diamond shape or something. A lot of times bigger line doesn't always mean better line or tougher line. Especially the round stuff. This is, feels like it's mostly just round. Anyways. I'm going to keep going here, finish up that little area, and uh, so far so good. Yeah, if they had some kind of adjustment, like you got these here, that just helps you fold up your, well you can kind of play that a little bit I guess, right there. You could kind of adjust the, adjust them a little bit. You wouldn't get any more height out of them, but you could probably maybe adjust that, to make it go ahead a little bit farther or back. I'm not sure. I'll play around with that maybe. Good solid tires. Okay, guys. Well, that's my first uh, cutting with the new machine. Hope to have more videos later. Maybe I can get my daughter to do a bit of a camera work sometime. She's busy tonight, so I couldn't get her to help me. Definitely better if you have a camera person following you or, you know, walking beside you or something. But I haven't made enough money at YouTube to hire my own camera person, so... Okay, that's enough of that cutting. Enough of that work. I'm sweaty and covered in grass. But, there's the little beast. Still haven't thought of a name for it, but... Uh, I cleaned it up a little bit. It didn't clean up too bad. Where I'm, I don't know, I'm sure I'm going to probably going to keep it in here for the summer. I'll probably just leave a little, or like a good kind of a brush in here hanging on the wall somewhere. I can clean it up every time I use it. A little bit of grass. Oh well. Um. Yeah, so, works pretty good. Um, other than, I'm still not used to these, like I said, I'm not used to these handlebars. They feel a little bit strange. Uh, they almost feel too wide, I don't know, too wide. It's hard to explain. But, I'll probably get used to them. One thing I did notice though when I was using it compared to my old machine, my old machine, if you look down here, is like a kind of a subframe kind of thing. So when you swivel it there on the back, it'll swivel to one side a couple inches, two or three inches, if you're cutting along a fence. So they kind of got this plate. So, anyways, your handlebars are attached to this plate and so are your wheels I just hope that plate is strong enough because I don't know if you can see this I'm gonna put my foot up here 
and you can see the flex in that. See the flex? Can you see that? It's not rigid. Like I'm flex I'm flexing it there quite a bit. Just I'm just pushing on the handlebar. Hopefully that doesn't become an issue down the road. Same with this side, they're both the same. My old machine, the handlebars were attached. Well, I'll come around back over here. It's easier to see. The wheels were attached to the actual body of the machine, and so were the handlebars. But with this, I'm going to call the sub plate or sub frame, they're attached to that instead. And I notice that when I'm using it, even, uh, you know, if I get into some pretty rough areas, you can see that flexing down there pretty good when you're pushing it over like little bumps and rocks and stuff. We'll see how that turns out. Well, we'll keep an eye on that, but easy to push though. Um, but I can see, uh, I mean, I'm, I consider myself pretty fit, pretty strong. And uh, you wouldn't want to do acres with this thing all day long, but uh, I'm tired right now. My, my arms are kind of sore from pushing. I can see an older person having trouble using this like for very long like it pushes nice right here of course because I'm on the flat pushes really easy it's got the big wheels but if you're into like a rough area like I was down there around there where I was there was a few rough areas it just it pretty it shakes you up pretty good because what happens is your one wheel hits a bump your other wheel doesn't hit a bump so it jerks it one way or the other or that wheel hits a hole and this one is on some so you're kind of it kind of jerks you back and forth a bit in the rough areas but uh, so far I'm impressed anyways uh, oh don't forget to check out uh, Logan's channel called fab fun I mentioned it before just don't uh, he's a good guy he's a real family man and I hope I got your place right, uh, Logan. I hope you're in Indiana. If not, I apologize. <laughs> He's got a great, uh, great channel. And I, uh, I'm in love with his tractor. It's Massey. It's a beautiful machine. And uh, yeah, he's a really, fam a real family man.